Hi, you guys doing? Uh, my name is Josie. i um, sharing another tutorial this month with you guys, and this one will be based on uh, how to record your audio from machine into Logic Pro X and into uh, Tractor. Uh, you c By the way, guys, this the way that you import into LPX is the same way you can do in Ableton Live. Um, there are other ways of doing it. Uh, this seems to be the fastest. A lot of people have cool ways to use the external outputs and stuff like that, but we're gonna keep it very simple. And maybe we'll do another tutorial where we'll talk about the other different ways that you can do it and also how to maybe import your MIDI as well. So let's get to it. I'm going to switch my screen and go into machine. By the way, you guys can follow me on learnaudiosoftwares.wordpress. Pretty high read on Instagram. And obviously, uh, we'd love if you guys uh, subscribe to the channel. And I want to thank those that have been subscribers so far and have wrote some really cool um, comments. Thank you. So let's go here. Um, I'm going to use a, a Paradise Rinse project. Uh, it's called Miss Jacker, which is pretty cool. It's Deep House. I'll play a little bit of it for you guys. Uh, let me turn some other. So um, that's a Paradise Rinse, uh, it's called Miss Jacko Project. It's got some pretty cool sounds. I figure we'll just concentrate on the drums for now. Um, and sometimes you want to take parts and maybe play it on your DJ set, uh, maybe mix them better, maybe do something different in a, a host that you like, like LPX or Ableton. There's, there's a lot of other cool stuff that you can do um, out of machine to manipulate sound. So let's get to it. Here we go. We're going to close this library. Um, this is scene seven. I'm going to take a smaller one just for this uh, tutorial because it'll take too long to bounce. I'm going to go to scene two, uh, which is only eight bars long, and it'll be easier for us to uh, bounce stuff. So if we take a look down here, we can see that this and there are two export options. There is a MIDI export option, which if you guys can see on the right-hand side, it's right here. And then there's a audio export option on on here as well well that's the one we're going to be using now the thing is we have to kind of move screens around to make space for stuff um we can make this window smaller by going here to this, this triangle this closure triangle hidden view and making it small it's a little bit smaller there cool and the next thing i want to do i don't want to take the bass i just want to take the drums obviously i am in the drums group i've highlighted it okay but for now not to be distracted i'm going to go into my controller and i'm going to just mute the other groups not that it's necessary but just for this example i'm going to mute them i'm going to play it and we should just hear drums okay. i'm going to stop it now if i want to take that whole loop right i'm going to grab this audio export here i'm going to click and hold i'm never letting go of my finger i'm just clicking and holding it's bouncing it. I'm still keeping my finger on it, and now I'm going to drag it without ever letting go, and I'm gonna start on bar one, and I'm going to let it go now, so we can import it into Logic. Okay, it's doing its thing. And once it's done doing that, we'll be able to see it Okay, and now the tempo here is 80, right? Let's take a look at the original tempo. The original tempo was 118. So why don't we change that to 118? There we go. And remember, it was eight bars long, so I have a cycle going for eight bars. All right, I'm just going to take this here and drag it over. And let's have a listen. There you go. Now, in the same way, let's bring it into Tractor, right? We'll open up. Tractor, great. Uh, these, if I click on here, you guys will see these are track decks. This one here is my remix decks, which we'll talk about in a second. Okay, I'm going to, to bounce it. Keep my finger on it. It's doing its thing. And it actually looks really cool on the controller, on the machine controller, because it starts to light up as it's bouncing it. Um, and I'm just gonna drag it, um, I'll drag it into this one. There you go, and you guys can actually see it. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna put my grid there, and I'm gonna change the tempo. I know the tempo is 118, it's not 118.7. Let's loop it for eight bars, 32 beats equals eight bars. And let's have a listen.
Cool. There you have it. So that is a way that you guys can export audio from machine. Now, if you guys wanted to be really intricate with stuff and maybe break the pieces down into, maybe you have a, a drum set and then you want to be a kick, snares, and stuff like that, I can show you how to quickly do that as well. Uh, I'm going to play all the parts there. Okay. Let's take the kick, for example. I'm going to solo my kick. Great. Let's have a listen. I want to export my kick. I'm going to go into machine. Okay, same deal. I soloed it first, keep in mind. Right, I'm going to grab it. It's going to bounce the kick over. Let's put it on there. Let it go. And while, while that does its thinking, I'm going to go into Tractor, Remix Deck. Let's export it there as well. Machine. Let's go into machine. Perfect. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to take it again. See, now I'm right into trouble because I'm going to have to let it go because it's uh, in the way. And that is the only thing that I don't really enjoy about this. So I'll have to do it again. If you don't have your window set up before you decide to export it, since you're clicking and holding, you can't move the window. So we're going to put it into one of the slots of the remix deck. Let it go. Let's play it. <laughs> really super cool. Um, let's close that out. Let's go back to machine to see if we see the kick there. Okay, let's play the kick. Okay, now let's go back to the machine, right? Again, and let's probably, let's just grab the snare for the hell of it. Um, let's get out of solo mode of the kick. And instead of soloing stuff now, we're going to mute. Mute the kick, uh, that, 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 the hi-hats, everybody. We should be left with the clap. Let's export that. Same deal. Click and drag. We'll do it in Tractor as well, as that does some thinking. It's doing quite some thinking there, won't let me move forward, but let's do it. There we go. Again, arrange your window first, so you have space. Let's drag it over. Put it on the second one. I'm going to stop my, my remix deck, okay, and here I go, I'm going to play both of them. A little filtering and whatnot. But you guys get the idea. That's pretty much how you guys can break up um, all the pieces from machine and bring them in. I, I can do the hi-hat as well. Um, we'll do it quickly here. I'm going to go into my machine again, and I'm going to mute that, and I'm just turning on my hats. Let's have a listen. Okay, quickly, we'll run over to machine here in the software. Same deal. Nothing has changed. Now we can manipulate sound independently um, in our preferred host. Or if we want to do live DJing, take the pieces with our remix decks and kind of do live remixing, which is super awesome. I do a lot of that. I really enjoy it a lot. I like to be in control. I use a lot of the STEM uh, remix that they have now, which is super cool. Um, I hope to do some tutorials on that and show you guys some tricks on how you can manipulate stuff. Let's have a listen here to see what's happening. Okay, so now we can go, let's do the same deal with Tractor. Let's bring it into Tractor. Move this over, I get it out the way, of course. Click and hold so you can bounce it. Select any remix how you like. Okay, um, I'll play from here. Okay, I'm going to stop it, and now here we go, I'm going to go into my remix, hit all of them at the same time. Now you can get wicked. So 
so you can do all kinds of stuff and obviously you know the timing and stuff like that you guys can go in there and kind of edit the sound a little bit more and things like that um that's it for now uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to export audio from a tractor i mean from machine into tractor or logic pro x and the same way we did it in lpx you can do it in um Ableton Live or any Pro Tools, any of your preferred softwares, by the way. Um, I hope, again, you guys subscribe and share my channel with other people. I like to have more people on here and share information. My name is Josie. Check me out on learnaudiosoftwares.wordpress and Instagram, Pretty Hybrid. Talk to you soon. Ciao.